morning. My name is Kurt Schmucker from Parallels. And in this quick talk, I'm going to talk about the new version of Parallels Desktop. So every August, we release a new version of our flagship product, Parallels Desktop. For Parallels Desktop 15, which is just released, the big news is we've moved completely to metal for all our graphics work. This makes apps that use a lot of graphics go much faster. And along the way, we were able to implement and support DirectX 11. So I'll show you two apps that take advantage of this new, new power in graphics in my quick talk. So about a year and a half ago, Microsoft released a new version of the genre-defining game, Age of Empires. If you tried to launch that in Parallels Desktop 14, you would see this. And so there I have the actual alerts you see, and then I've translated them from Microsoft English into normal English so you can understand what's going on. Basically, the alerts were correct. The game was so slow and so sluggish, it was unplayable. Let me now show it to you in Parallels Desktop 15 with our new support for Metal and for DirectX 11. So the good news is, no alerts at all. So if you aren't familiar with this game, it's a real-time strategy game. You're set up in a world, and you're in the Stone Age, and you have you know, sort of cavemen here, and they do things for you like gather wood, explore, things like this. I've played this game a lot on Windows machines, and I'm telling you, this is exactly the same speed you see. It's really pretty nice. I was the one who volunteered to test for the QA team, Age of Empires because it's my favorite game, and I'm really, really happy to say it works just wonderful in Parallels Desktop 15, and I spent many hours playing it just to make sure that was the case. <laughs> now, that's one app. That's an app that was around for a while and now works in Parallels Desktop 15, which is great. But what about new apps? apps that are de designed for a Windows 10 PC with a good graphics card. Well, in June, Microsoft, Microsoft released a new app for Windows 10 PCs. And the app's name is Xbox. And this enables you to run Xbox games in Windows 10 PCs. Does it work here in Parallels Desktop? I, picked a, I could have picked a game like My Little Pony to show you, but I thought that would be kind of boring for this group. So I picked a first-person shooter set in space on Europa. And the game will start with its opening sequence, and then I'll, I'll get control in just a moment. Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. And you can see the audio, the graphics are just great. In a moment, I'll have interactivity. We need you to investigate. OK, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? So now I have the control. I can look around the room. The ISA Let's go the down this hallway. We need to reestablish communication. Let's see what's going on up, up here. Pick up your EMT. It's on the side. OK. We are going to take a lander to Europa. So I think that's enough Make gameplay. So you uh, can come watch me at our table, and I'll play this for an hour for you. Um, to the 
games stress graphics cards and CPUs. So all the work we did here in Parallels Desktop 15 will also apply to CAD applications, architectural applications, things like this. Even in some cases where you wouldn't, wouldn't think graphics was a major bottleneck, Word now launches 80% faster in Parallels Desktop 15 because our work for in DirectX 11 and in, in Metal. So come by our table and see more demos. I can play the game more for you. And you also get a free gift you stop by. Thank you very much.